days. It's under four weeks out. What's up, guys? So, we are under four weeks out today. Today is Sunday. So, yesterday was four weeks out. Um, since I last spoke with you guys, my body weight is about the same. I'm like, I go back and forth between like my lowest is like 238.7, and then I go up to like 241.8. Basically, the way Patrick has me doing things right now is rotating back and forth. So, I have two different days. So there was a stretch for about three weeks where we did very, very limited amount of high days. That's how I got in shape so quick. So I have like a menu that's, let's say 4,000 calories. And then another menu that's a low day that's 2,900 calories range, maybe 3,000. Um, it's about half the amount of carbs. So he was running me on a lot of low days. And then starting about maybe nine days ago, started incorporating a few more high days. And now we're at the point where we don't do more than two low days in a row. So sometimes it's one low day, one high day, one low day, one high day. So calorie wise, overall calories are way up. So I feel better from a performance standpoint in the gym, but just being very low body fat and as lean as I am now, it's just really hard. Like you're just tired, you're exhausted. The body doesn't want to be that lean. So today is my high day. Today is about 4,000 calories. Uh, it's about 500 grams of carbs. And tomorrow will be back to a low day. And it's about uh, just under half that. It's about 240 grams of carbs. And I'll share my diet with you guys and show you guys exactly what I'm eating. But I just had my pre-workout. I'm gonna mix my intro workout, get ready. We're gonna hit the back. We're gonna try the new Panada pullover today. We're gonna be kicking off the workout with that. What's up? We're gonna be kicking off the workout with that today. I'm really excited about that piece because we tried it back in January when we visited Panada. We finally got it here. So I'll see you guys on the June 4th. Tracy, one-on-one, -on -one. elite and ultra, best mix in the planet. Favorite I flavors? Said, yeah, dragon fruit and the berry, elite. So during my workout, um, I used to drink two scoops of Intro HD. This is the new flavor, the grapefruit. Everyone who's tried it loves it. Um, I drink a lot of water while I train, so I'll just put one scoop in this right now which is about 600, 700 mils. And then I'll do another scoop like halfway through and fill it up again. So when you're uh, when you're doing the pullover, we're trying to specifically isolate the lats here. So we want the elbow to be in front of us, pointing towards you guys. You know, so for me, with my range of motion, when I come up to here, this is as much range as I have in my lat. So if I let the weight take me further back, what happens is with my elbow, it ends up facing that way is now going to put the weight into the teres and involve the shoulder so we're trying to isolate lat so we're staying in front that's why for example like back in the day someone who was really intuitive with their training and maybe couldn't explain the exact science behind it but just knew intuitively like when he was training was during yates he never did for lats he always said i don't do pull downs i only do underhand why is that look what happens pull down elbows are pointing out that way upper back terries. When we have to do underhand, our elbows come in front. So now we're in the lats. So, something to think about. Look at this, look at this over here. It's glistening. Who put baby oil on it? Is that, is that baby oil? What is that, Pam? You put Pam on? Emerson uh, just started prep for his pro debut uh, in men's physique. He's 10 weeks out. What's the show? I forget what show it is. So many men's physique shows. <laughs> is it in the States? But it's, yeah, it's progressing really fast though. Pullovers are done. Now we're doing a superset. We're doing the Nautilus seated row. And we're supersetting that with the hammer strength um, row. This one we're doing isolateral. That way, that one we're doing together. Um, with this exercise here, I get a lot in my lats. I'm able to really isolate it. And then when we're going over there, we're pulling a little bit higher and pulling a little bit higher. So it's even more like upper back, mid back, um, even traps. So we're supersetting these two rows. This is actually my second set. I already did the warm up. And reps are like, uh, reps combined here are going to be like around 25 reps. You know, whether here's 15, there's 10, it's going to be around 25 reps. With this exercise, making sure the 
arm that we're rowing with, just my right, all the weight is in this foot. So I'm digging this foot into the pad really hard. This one's just kind of sitting there. My first movement, I'm focusing on neutral spine, just belly forward, throw forward. And then I'm going to pull my shoulder blade back first so I don't use my bicep or hand. And then hand follows. If you do this one right, you should be able to feel your lat right from the top all the way to the insertion. It's almost like as I'm rowing, I'm coming back and I'm trying to actually bring that elbow like around to meet the middle of my back to really shorten the lat. sets over on the last super set. Now we're doing um, the Panada High Row. This is the selectorized version. I really love the tension on this with the cables. One of the most popular machines in the gym for the last couple of years is a plate loaded version of this one, which is right beside it right here, which I'm sure you guys have seen in some of the videos. So this is a, it's not a pull down. It's actually like a high row. So it's a really cool uh, movement. You, obviously not everyone has access to this in the gym. So the way you could, uh, Sort of mimic this movement is if you did do a lap pull down and you put a bench maybe pull the incline bench up to it and sat in the bench if this is the cable here if you put the bench the cables here if you put the bench here and you're sitting down now the angle is like this and it's uh it's a high row right you're not pulling straight down that cable is on this angle so that's how you can kind of mimic it uh, val supersetting it with the panada bent over t-bar row which is an awesome machine I just can't do it because my hernia disc. So I'm just gonna give everything I got on this one. That's it. I'm good. Let's go, come on. Yes, come on. Good, two more. Push, 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 push. Mm. One more. Push, 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 push. That's one it. more, one more. Good. Push, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. One more. Good. Down, down, push, 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 good. Good. That's it. Oh, man. Like, it's hard because I'm trying to, like, also push. It, it, isolaterally. There's yeah. two, right? Just like one. So I don't want to push yeah. more than, like, one. Yeah. This machine's so good, though. The tension on it is like when you're in the negative if you're like pushing against it's just like pulls i don't know yeah it's constant tension on the back what i also like is like you can change depending where you put the seat so if i want that arm to come row lower you can get more into like lower lat but if you lower the seat and now that arm's coming higher you're a little more upper back okay. this is our last exercise this is an awesome machine from watson it's a dual pull down, um, isolateral. So we're choosing to pull with our elbows pointing out that way. So it's gonna work a lot of terries, upper back. But like I was telling you guys before, that we chose to stay in this path. Now we're gonna be into the lat. But we're choosing to be here. And I'm sort of thinking of doing a back to the bicep. So on Val here, we're gonna be doing, so 
the Terry's here. She pulls down, so you put a lot of emphasis on this. Her lat is actually down here. Some of the muscles you see when guys do back over my cups, under the rear delt, you'll see like a line, you'll see width, good width there. A lot of guys that don't have great width, it's actually Terry's, not lats. You know what? I'm gonna do a combination of Terry's and lat here. So I'll do six reps of both so you guys can see the difference of isolating the Terry's versus the lats. Alright guys, so that is what are you doing, Bill? <laughs> so that is the back workout today. Uh, if you guys saw my video last week, you, you would have noticed I talked about this that we're doing uh, a lot more higher volume, um, some supersets, not necessarily pushing weight at this point, going for feel, isolation, pump. Um, this has allowed me to get much better workouts. And none of my like sort of nagging little injuries or my joints are hurting. Everything feels great. I feel the best I've felt in a long time, so that's a huge win um, right now. And as far as progress goes, things have been going very, very well. Like every 48 hours, noticeable changes. I just spoke with Patrick yesterday, and uh, it's been a different prep for me. You guys, I've told you guys I haven't had like a cheat meal in forever, but I feel like it's really paying off now because I'm able to eat a lot more calories leading to the show. It was like there's a period for like maybe three weeks, a couple weeks where he ran me on a lot, uh, a lot more low carb days, which was like pretty torturous. And I was like, man, this is extremely hard. This is, it was killing me. I felt like shit coming in here. Like my training partner saw it. I felt horrible. Um, but it was just temporary. And I just spoke to Patrick and at the beginning of the video here, I was telling you guys how I'm doing a lot more higher carb days now. Sometimes it's like one low, one high, one low, one high. We don't really go more than two low consecutive. Um, bouncing back and forth between about 4,000 and 3,000 calories. Um, so it's pretty cool because Patrick was telling me that like, you know, the hard part in the sense of the dieting is pretty much somewhat past us and there's going to be a lot more high days sort of leading to the show now, which is a good feeling to be able to like, you know, have good workouts leading to the show and not feel like you got to kill yourself all the way up until the week before the show. So I just feel like it puts a body in a better state Having those calories, cortisol is lower, your sleep's better, you're a little more efficient. Um, so I'm feeling really good, really confident going into this show. Um, yeah, um, aside from that, I'm trying to think of what else what else to fill you guys in on. Next video, I'll probably do something like in the kitchen, show you guys what I'm sort of eating, because I know you guys are always interested in that. Um, I appreciate all your guys' support. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to try and keep this YouTube channel going. And uh, you know, I appreciate you guys supporting, you know, HD Muscle, um, Gas, Better Bodies, anything that I sort of stand behind. Um, you know, it really does make a difference when you guys are, you know, supporting athletes using the codes. Um, Valerie is with, you know, Gas and Better Bodies and HD. We're both with both the same team, so that's pretty cool. Um, I got the black Better Body sweater on. <laughs> Just you want to be like Dorian. She's got the white <laughs> one. So if you guys... Uh, you know, like any of the clothing or that you see Val wearing or me wearing, you know, if you guys support us and uh, use our codes on the websites, much appreciated. Mine's Dorian15. And what's yours? Valerie. Just Valerie. Just Valerie. No 15. Simple as that. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Till next week. I'm going to be keeping these videos coming once a week. 
All right. See you guys.